Hi, Gwen. It's the big bear. I mean, it's me. It's Bjorn. I don't know why I said that. I'm not, like, reinventing myself or anything. I think I'm just nervous about the move. It all looks so different here. It's hot here, and there's this stuff called sand everywhere, and no ice at all. I wish everything hadn't melted. Oh, but I got a job preparing air conditioning. How funny is that? I told them that I've never seen an air conditioner in my life, but they just assumed I know because I'm a polar bear, I guess. Maybe I'll bring a little bit of home everywhere I go. I miss home, and I miss you. Okay, I'm here. Call me back. First day on the job. Don't mess this up, Bjorn. Six weeks until my birthday. I doubt it'll be much of a party. Ugh. I can't be bothered. I'll unpack those later. <sighs> so dehydrated. I need some of that cold sweet stuff. Gotta cool down. Polar cola is the only thing here that isn't a billion degrees. Home. The sweet taste of permafrost. Okay, let's see who has problems with the AC. Miss Chihuha? What's a Chihuha? Chichi the Chihuahua. You must be the air bear. Oh my, I've never seen so much fur. Yeah, where I come from, we're very big on fur. So, how are you finding the town? It's very different. Also, it's just crazy hot. I know. I just can't imagine having all that fur. You must be boiling. Yeah. Let's fix this AC then. If only I could find it among all these cacti. Cacti? Yeah, you know. Succulents, prickly pears, ouch bushes. You've never heard of a cactus. No, we don't get any in the Arctic Circle. Well, you'll get to know them here. They're my favorite thing in the world. I have so many I can't find anything. Luckily, my mom wrote down where the AC is on this piece of paper. Oh. She knows I forgot everything. Here. En la cocina, a la izquierda, atrás del cactus grande. Uh, what? Oh no, she wrote it in Spanish. There's a dictionary around here somewhere. If you can find it, you can have it. It might come in handy. I'm not gonna translate. Embrace the language, dummy. these things. Uh, what are these things? What are these things? Uh, what are these things? Ow! Uh, what are these things? Ah! Uh. I hate cacti. I've a fen. I need to get across the wires without getting electrocuted.
might be really spiky and dangerous, but they're also freaking beautiful. And if you ask me, the danger gives them a little spice, if you know what I mean. I know the desert is new for you, but it's full of beauty if you know where to look. Yeah, I guess they're pretty. See? There you go. And thanks for fixing the AC. Keep the dictionary. Feel free to call me sometime. We can practice together. Ow! What are these things? Where should I put this dictionary? Hmm, I wonder how long these will last. Nice! Hmm, these boxes aren't beautiful. That feels a little better. Wonder what Gwen is up to. I should call her. But I'm feeling a little chatty. Hey Bjorn, nice to hear from you. How's the new place? It's okay, I guess. But, have you ever heard of a prickly pear? Prickly pear? Like the fruit? No, it's like a plant that can cut you. The plant has a knife? <sighs> Never mind. Everything here is just really strange. And I don't really know anyone. I'm just imagining my birthday and it's just going to be me Sitting at home, fat and alone like a stupid walrus. No, come on. You're nothing like those weirdos. <sighs> Thanks. All right, I gotta go. But call anytime. The tundra feels really empty without you. So stay away from those nice plants. They sound really dodgy. Maybe I'll dream of icebergs. <laughs> oh, hmm. A puddle of sweat. It's sort of like an ocean, right? I guess that's progress. Two weeks! I feel like I've been in this desert for ages. Chichi was right. Some of these terms have come in handy. Time for the best part of the day. <sighs> so fresh and tasty. I feel better already. Not sure what I'm going to do when I run out. Another day battling the sun. Jared, a giraffe. I wonder what he's doing over here. Come in. Hello, welcome. You must be Bjorn. Smashing to meet you. The name's Gerard von Schulzberg, Esquire. Your house? It's so... tall. 
Ah, uh, quite right. It's a necessity for me, as you can imagine. The contractors here are rather unaccustomed to such architecture. They did their best, I'd say. Not quite the same as South Africa, though. Yeah, I just moved here from the Arctic. I can sympathize. Heavens! We can gab away about our distant homelands later. Let's get this air conditioning fixed before you evaporate. The aircon is up high, naturally. The builders installed an improvised stair system to access the AC unit. You'll need to flip these three switches on the walls. Here's the first one behind me. Splendid. You pressed all the buttons, now you can access the air conditioning unit. There it is. Bravo! I have to make sure that these dials are in the right position. Thanks a million, Bjorn. So, how's the desert compared to the tundra? I'm getting used to it. Hmm. When I'm feeling particularly homesick, I listen to the smooth sounds of the djembe. It really takes me back. It makes the architecture slightly more bearable. Hmm. I do miss the northern throat singing. Precisely, but... Truth be told, I've also grown to enjoy the sliding sounds of a steel guitar that's famous in this region. Food for thought, old bean. Music is the medicine for the soul, as they say. That's what they say. I guess I'm curious about what the music scene is like around here. That's the spirit. Lovely to meet you. Let me know if you want any local music recommendations. Maybe 
I should put up my throat singing posters. Ah, oh, Mingul, they can really sing. <sighs> no one can beat the throat brothers. I should probably check out the local radio station. Maybe that old radio works. Okay, I can get down to this. Yeah. Not yet. Uh, the Polar Cola is keeping me cool. <sighs> but you're not gonna believe it. I met a giraffe today. His name is Jared Fun something. Uh, a funny guy. You'd like him. A giraffe? I know, right? He showed me some amazing local tunes. I was thinking of, you know, learning how to play the guitar. Everyone is crazy about him. Bjorn, I'm happy you're making new friends. Have you thought about what you want to do for your birthday? A bear only turns 31. Nah, I don't want to think about it. I'll probably spend it in bed, watching TV, drinking some polar cola. Well, if you say so. Gotta run. Boot boot. Hi, Chichi. It's Bjorn. Oh, hi. Wait, out! I'm just replanting my cactus. They grew so big, they need bigger pots. I was thinking, maybe I need to get myself one of these. My room needs a bit of grit. Absolutely! I'm gonna help you take care of them properly. Don't worry. Speak to you later, Bjorn! Oh, what a day. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Time to hit the sack. Ah, slept like a cub. Who needs this bear to repair the air today? A bear turns 30 only once. Oh, but it's getting awfully close. Senor, puro, senor, puedo poner mi cabeza en el congelador, por favor. And now, what every polar bear likes best, a nice cold drink. Ah, oh, I need to get a hold of some more polar cola. There's only a couple of them left. Okay, let's see what the plan is for today. The AC is broken in the house of cow and jellyfish? Wait, what? How would that even work? Hi, is this the house of Carlos the Cow and Lady Ojello? I'm from the Polar Bear Air Conditioning Repair. Indeed it is. Climb the stairs, amigo. Don't be shy. We're just over here. We got ourselves in a bit of a big hole. Maybe you can help.
Bienvenidos to the Madhouse. I'm Carlos and this is my wife, Lady O'Jello. She's a delicate little flower, but she can be feisty too. You have no idea. <laughs> Dice hola. So, mi amigo, not only our AC is broken, but the filter to Lady O'Jello Aquarium is blocked with seaweed. She has been stuck here since morning and she's not happy. Ow! She just stung me. She knows we're talking about her. Baby, relax. I'm working on it. Okay, Lady Ojello, listen. I'll see what I can do with the filter. Oh, this, uh, don't take too much time, or... Oh, uh, what? Ouch! She stung me again. Mi amor, te dije, not in front of other people. Okay, let's give it a go. But I don't promise anything. I will get everything out of the filter and then power this back up. Hurry up, I can tell she's getting annoyed. Vamos, cariño. Hold on. Just a second. I'm nearly done. Oh, thank you very much. I must tell you, me and Lady Ojello, we love each other like locos, but we also need our space. Relationships, you know? Hmm, you're asking the wrong guy. I just moved here and I still don't really know anyone. That's too bad. You need to get back in the dating game. Met anyone here that you like? Everyone is super nice, but but I'm still getting to know everyone. Come on, amigo. Just look at this crazy house. Lady Ojello and I are from completely different worlds, but when I get tangled up in them tentacles... Uh, right, yeah, uh, but if we can make it work, so can you. <laughs> what is it, honey? <laughs> Ah, yes. The wires inside are a mess. You need to join them up in the right order. Wait, seems like Jelly remembers it. Sun, uh, ocean, fire, and uh, grape? I'm not sure what she means. Maybe it's some sort of a riddle. Jellyfishes can be funky like that. Little devils. Okay, let me see what I can do. What was the order of the wires again? My translation from Jello language is not always perfect, but uh, I think she said sun, ocean, fire, and grape. Gotta open this door. Luis at all the front. Good luck.
It's working now. Tell a lady or jello, everything is cool. <laughs> She thinks you're a funny guy. Let's keep in touch, amigo. Hmm. Maybe Carlos was right. It's been too long. I should put myself back out there. But how? I barely know anyone here. Wait, what day is it today? Ah, uh, it must be my birthday tomorrow. I'm gonna be 30 already? Ah, <sighs> man, time is running fast like a snow leopard. Hi, Chichi. It's Bjorn. Oh, hola, Bjorn. What are you up to? Not much. I thought maybe we could practice a bit of Spanish together tomorrow night. I think I'm getting better and better. Ay, cabrón. Chichi, are you all right? Is this not a good time? Oh, no, no. I'm just out shopping for some cactus. Never enough cactus. Hmm, right. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow night. I'm not sure. Let me call you back. Later, amigo. Uh, that was weird. Let's see what's up with Jared. That guy's always home. Gerard von Schulzberg speaking. How may I help you? Hey, what's up, G-Man? John, to what do I owe this pleasure? I remember you're a big music guy. Maybe you feel like catching a gig at the Cacti Club. The swinging armadillo and the meerkats are playing tomorrow evening. And I heard they're gonna be amazing. Oh, what a shame. I'd love to, Bjorn, but I have to tend to my, uh, stamp collection. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I did not know you collected stamps. Big time. It takes the edge off, you know? You should try it. All right. Uh, have fun. Talk, talk to you later then. Hmm. News flash. Nobody likes me. Wait. Somebody's calling me. Oh. Hi, Lady O Jello. <laughs> Okay. Bjorn, it's Carlos. Listen, what are you doing tomorrow? No plans, actually. We have a problem with the filter again. Long story. Can you come over tomorrow and have a look? Oh, yeah. The filter. <sighs> sure, no problem, Carlos. Tell Lady Ojello that I'll be there. Thanks, amigo. <sighs> I'm such... I wonder if I still have what it takes. Hey, handsome! Wouldn't give you the cold shoulder. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm so lame. <sighs> Time for bed. Let it all be over soon. <sighs> Hello, 30. It's me, Bjorn, the friendless furball.
No cola, cola. Oh, happy birthday, John. Guess I should just get on with it. Working on my birthday. Might as well. Happy birthday, Big Bear. Oh, Gwen, I'm so glad you're here. Did you plan all of this? No, it was actually Carlos's idea. Wait, how did you know it was my birthday? Because you're always talking about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Well, <sighs> thank you so much for doing this. I've never had a surprise party before. Of course I couldn't leave my best friend all alone on his birthday. Why don't you talk to your friends, and then come back to me? Chichi and I have a surprise for you. Thirty is the new eighteen. Gracias again for helping us out. Lady Ojelo is feeling much better. We brought a friend of ours we think you might like. Here he comes now. Wait, should I... Should I go and talk to him? Come on, amigo. What are you waiting for? Rawr! Oh, that was lame. I'm sorry. <laughs> it wasn't lame at all. It was quite cute, actually. Say, you don't look a day over 20, old chap. I found this old guitar and thought you might like to give it a go. My house is the perfect temperature now. You should come over sometime. Feliz cumpleaños, Bjorn! Sorry if I ever made you feel weird about your fur, but I'm really honored my AC was the first you fixed in town. Here, I want you to have this cactus. It's almost in bloom. Now, it's time to dance! It was really nice to meet you. Do you want to get a drink sometime? So, everyone's been telling me you've run out of pola cola. So we came up with an alternative. Have you ever had a piña colada? No? It's similar to a pineapple and coconut smoothie. It's the best way to beat the heat. Why don't you try to make one and see how you like it? Great job! Bravo! And now for the secret ingredient. Ah, no way! Yep. I brought some from home. Add a little hey, in there. Great job. It's it's so good. I'm so glad you like it. Hopefully it makes the move a little easier. Yeah, yeah, it's just like me. Cold and refreshing. But oh so sweet. A bit of Arctic. Better desert. The perfect combo. And I think after six weeks, <sighs> I finally feel like I've made a new home for myself. 